Hey you! So today we are going to do this makeup tutorial. It's kind of like a cranberry golden makeup look. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet. It's cranberry shimmer maybe is what I'm going to call it. I don't know. I've been into shimmer lately, which is weird for me because I'm a matte person. Like I like matte colors and stuff like that. But this is pretty much shimmer head to toe except for my foundation. My foundation is pretty matte. Um, but other than that, there's shimmer and gloss and stuff in this, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to learn how to do this, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and all this is is a base for your eyeshadows. It makes it last longer, and the, it makes the colors a lot more vibrant. So apply that from the base of your lashes all the way up to your brows. All of the colors that we will be using today will come from this Coastal Sense Palette. This is the 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette, so we will be using this one. And I kind of want to challenge myself to use this palette more often, like to use all 252 colors. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully by the end of the year, I will have used all of them. So I'm just going to take the first tab, and this is the only one that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. And on the first one, you get a lot of warm tone colors. There's like, I don't know, a gradient effect from light to darker colors and then neutral colors down here. So I'm going to start off by using this color down. Oh, I already poked it. And I'm going to start off by using this color right here. And it's a light champagne color. And I'm going to take that color on this Sedona Lace brush. This is the EB11. And this is a flat shader brush. You can use any kind of brush, but I'm just going to use this one. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to the first inner third of my eyes. So now using that same flat shader brush, this yellow right here. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how I can tell you guys, like, on the second row up three this color right here and I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the center part of my lid just go ahead and blend it into the first color that we added now I'm going to take this small angled elf brush and I'm going to take this raspberry color this raspberry color right here it's a little bit darker than like a red but it's still like a nice raspberry color and I'm going to add that to the outer third of my eyes. And this one's a matte color. So when you mix matte and shimmer, it makes it a little bit harder to blend, but we're actually going to add a shimmer right over it, so it'll make it a lot easier. I'm going to go back into that yellow color, and I'm just going to overlap it a little bit. Now I'm going to take this shimmery raspberry color, and I'm going to add that right on top. Now I'm just going to use this Coastal Scents Blending Brush, and I'm just going to blend this outer color out. I'm not really going to blend the first two colors. You don't want to drag it up too far into the crease. Just You just want to blend out the harsh lines. So now I'm going to take this matte shimmer. No, matte shimmer. So now I'm going to take this matte peachy shade on that same brush. I just wiped off the excess. And I'm going to add that right above the colors to blend them out. You want to do this very light-handedly. We do not want a lot of color. Just wipe off the brush if you think you've added a little too much and then just go ahead and blend it out. So now I'm actually going to take this darker cranberry color up here and with that same eyeshadow brush or that same elf brush I'm just going to deepen the outer part of this eye a little bit. I just want to concentrate that color right here on the outer part of the eye. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of that color next to that cranberry color on the same brush. Just a little bit more maroon. And I'm going to add that right at the very end of your eye. You don't want to completely cover the first cranberry color that we added, but we do want to deepen up the outer part. I'm going to take my MAC 224 and then give this a nice blend. To highlight underneath my brows, I'm going to take my Highbrow Pencil by Benefit and I'm going to lightly apply this right underneath my brows. And I'm just going to use this Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush to blend this out. 
And right over that, I'm just going to use the lightest color in this palette. It's like a yellowy white color. It's like white diamond, sort of. And I'm going to add that right under, or right underneath my brows. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it into that corally orange color. For my inner highlight, I'm just going to use the color right underneath that one. It's a little bit more yellow. And I'm going to add that right there in the inner tear duct. Make sure to blend that in. So now I'm going to take my NYC's liquid liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. I'm going to do a thin line. I don't want it to be too exaggerated because the eyes are kind of out there if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a very thin line. As you guys can see, I did a very thin kind of wing look and then I added a very, very small wing to the outer part of the eye. So that the top isn't too top heavy, I'm actually going to take that same burgundy color and a small concealer brush. This one's just by Bobbi Brown. I'm just going to drag that right across my bottom lashes. Then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. And I'll be using What's Your Type by The Balm, Rimmel's Sexy Curve, and L'Oreal's Voluminous Original Mascara. And I'll be right back. So now I'm just going to take my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, and this is in medium golden. For foundation, I just took my Cover FX um, G50. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour, and I'm going to use my two favorite things. This is Wet n Wild Bronzer in Goddess, and this is NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. So now I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush, and this, is and this is called Candid Coral. And I'm just going to take it on this. Um, Tuscan Hills blush brush and this blush has a lot of shimmer to it so you don't need a highlight. I'm going to use that kind of like a highlight and my blush at the same time. Make sure to blend it very well into your bronzer. So now I'm going to take this pressed powder by Wet n Wild and I'm going to use this to set my foundation and I'm just going to take that on this large powder brush by, by Sigma. So to finish off the look, I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild lipstick, and this is called Just Peachy, and I'm going to apply this just by dabbing it onto my lips. This is a matte lipstick. This is a matte lipstick, so you could use a gloss over it. And over that, I'm just going to use this Laura Mercier lip gloss or lip glaze in Bellini, which is kind of a similar color. It just has a little bit more pink in it. And that completes the whole entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you gave it a try. And if you do, please tag me on Twitter or Instagram. Use the hashtag MegaPass or just tag me with my name. So until next time, bye!